Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, today we will take a look at the euro currency. Uh, in the beginning of the video uh, I just would like to say that it's really difficult to suggest how useful this analysis will be because everybody guys you probably know about the terrorist attack in Paris. So um, I would like to uh, say that uh, from the bottom of my heart to express the uh, sorrow to the Paris citizens and the citizens of the Euro Union. Uh, because our country, Russia, also uh, has met this uh, s similar strategy just a few weeks ago. Uh, so this is really terrible. Uh, here we will not talk on the political uh, background of this event because it's really very sophisticated and uh, it, it, we will need not just one hour to um, talk on different aspects of the political, political ex aspects of this uh, terrorist attack. Uh, the one thing that I just would like to say is uh, just ask the question, so when the uh, European leaders, uh, European politicians will, will, will start to work in the favor of its own country and in favor of its own citizens and do not uh, really blindly follow the, uh, some political ambitions of the third, third party countries. So that's the major question. And right now we're mostly will take a look at the possible impact on the markets from the, from the from the economical point of view, uh, I'm not sure, guys, that we really will need the analysis of the intraday charts but, but because we suggest that in the money we will get a huge bearish gap down on the euro currency. Uh, currently, we see the three major problems that stands around the European Euro Union. The first problem is the external that stands in the geopolitical. Uh, problems and tensions that uh, stay in relation with the Middle East situation, with the Ukraine situation. That's the first uh, block of the problems, the part of the problems that presses on the European Union. Second problem is the intrinsic, uh, internal problems. They are economical because now we see uh, the this, this sounds and more becomes louder on the possible Brexit, on the problems with the Greece, uh, the economical uh, statistics also uh, do not show the really impressive numbers. So the, the comments from the Draghi suggest a further devilish policy in the European Union that is not stands in favor of the European Union currency. And finally, the third block of problem is of course the refugees and uh, the, the really big wave of the people who come to the European Union. This is the uh, it's very, a really significant problem because it, it could it, it could lead to the uh, na national uh, nationalist problems uh, in the general it's really big big society um, event that uh, will need to be resolved as soon as possible. Under this pressure of these uh, problems, hardly European Union euro currency will. Uh, show the big reversal anytime soon. The major problem is that all these uh, issues are long term. And from that standpoint, yes, we previously have discussed that our target on the monthly chart is the parity. But if you will take a look at the monthly chart, you will see, I will even show you, since today we will not talk on the intraday charts probably, let's take a look on the long term perspective. Uh, if you will take a look at the monthly chart, you will see that the parity is the level that is not doesn't coincide with any significant support. Major FIP support from the 1999 lows to, to in millennium lows already has been broken. Take a look, the market has moved below 112 area, and that is the last major FIP support on the road down. So, shortly speaking. The area between the current market and the 82.25 lows is mostly the free space. 
if we exclude the possible oversold or something, some some other dynamic support areas, uh, we do not have any FIB support here. The parity is mostly the psychological level. Because yes, this is 1618 extension of this butterfly, but do you believe that market will turn to reversal based on this butterfly to the upside? I'm not sure. I think that market could show minor retracement. It also will depend how market will, act, will approach this. If we will see such, such sort of the drop lower and fast acceleration right to the parity, we will not, we will not be able to count on the reversal because this is the first sign of the possible butterfly failure. The next target will be 1990, approximately 90 even area. That is the 1618 extension of this big butterfly that stands at the top. Usually I'm not treating such sort of the pattern as the butterfly, but sometimes I use the extensions of the big swings and this extension supports the 1618. But guys, this is all some intermediate point points right to the lows of 80 to 25. And taking into consideration the factors that now are developing in the European Union, I'm not sure the, 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 the strategy of the euro currency will finish right at the parity. I think that here we could appear very soon. Uh, on the weekly chart, the next hour destination point stands at 104, it's very close to the weekly oversold. That is, in fact, the, the only pattern that we have right now that could clarify the target for us is this A, B, C top, D patterns, 161 extension stands right at the previous lows, 104, that we have here. Okay, that's probably will be the destination point in the next week. But to be honest, guys, I will not be sure, I, I will not be surprised if, if market will appear here right on Monday or within the two, three sessions. It's really, um, this really, really very, a uh, significant event has happened in the France, so uh, it really could shake the markets very, very, very strongly. Uh, on the daily chart, guys, uh, we, we've got the pattern that we have discussed. This is the stop grabber, and uh, it's just the further drop. Here we have, we see that the possible area where market could find some support is uh, one or four lows. That also will be accompanied by daily reversal. In general, guys. Speaking on the short term perspective, we would like to call you for one thing. If you currently do not have the short position and you have missed entry at the points that we have specified previously, if you remember the first point was the retracement here, it's 110 area that we have discussed. Later in the last week we have discussed the hand shoulders here and retracement to the 108. If you have missed the entry here or here and you do not, do not, want, do not have the short and you would like to get it, don't be hasty to take it right on Monday, right on the open the market. Wait when the market will come down. Do not try to get into the running trail. This is uh, will be the big mistake. Market will be nervous on Monday, uh, but uh, when the first reaction on the events will come, usually the market nervous. It uh, after the first reaction usually follows. Uh, the meaningful retracement, very significant retracement could fall. Uh, it's, it will be much safer to take the position on some retracement. I'm not sure, I don't, don't know, I do not know where a market will appear on Monday. Maybe it will drop directly to the 105 or 104. It doesn't matter, in fact. Uh, your task is to wait on the meaningful retracement and wait a bit when the market will come down. Do not try, uh, do not stand in rush and try to, to take position as soon as possible. This will be the mistake. Wait when the market will come down a bit. Because guys, I would suggest that in the long term perspective, this is really the big bearish journey on the euro currency. And probably our journey will not stop at the parity as we said. Uh, that's why you will have a lot of time for taking the position. That's why do not be too hurry or do this on Monday. Wait. Uh, on the hourly chart, guys, I, I, cut, I could show you the picture, but, but hardly it will be useful. So currently, you see that market turns to the bearish action after the completing our, the, our A, B, C, top D pattern and has reached this target. This was also the weekly pivot point last week. So market has completed this head and shoulders target that we have specified uh, and then dropped lower. That is a reaction on the poor retail sales in the United States on Friday. As you can see market stands in the deep retracement. Theoretically, I could say that one or say 784, one or eight area is an area where you could try to take the short position. 
but I'm not sure that this chart will be useful on Monday. So that's our current on the euro currency. If you have the short position, you could keep it. If market will drop, just tight your stops uh, on Monday. If you do not have it, as I said, do not be hurried to taking it as soon as possible on Monday. Wait when the market will come down, when 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 the first nervous reaction will finish and market turn to the meaningful retracement. When it will happen, it probably will be the chance for taking the short. 